Hey, what's up, NLC Live? James Bennett from our Cabot campus back with you today. Uh, so glad that you joined us. I decided today that instead of just reading the devotion, I would do one of my more favorite passions, and that is to demonstrate the scripture through interpretive dance. Not really, not gonna do that. It would bless you though. Jump into the scripture today. This is in uh, Isaiah uh, chapter 41, verse 10. And I'm gonna be reading from the Amplified Version. It says, do not fear anything for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. Okay, so that's emphasizing pretty clearly like, hey, I'm big, I'm God. You don't need to be afraid. Fear nothing. Okay, like no, there's not like an exception. Like there's some things it's okay to fear and, and other things not. It says, don't fear anything. I will strengthen you. Be assured, I will help you. I think that's so important because sometimes the way that we're strengthened is by God allowing us to experience resistance. The only way that you grow in strength is if there's something that you have to struggle against. And so it's just an interesting thought there that a lot of times God strengthens us by allowing us to face some opposition. Be assured, I will help you, okay? So just because we're gonna face some opposition doesn't mean that we have to do it on our own. God's gonna be there with us, he's gonna help us. I will certainly take hold of you with my righteous right hand, a hand of justice, a hand of power, of victory, and of salvation. And I love how it expounds on that. Uh, one of the things I think about when I think about trusting him, um, the way that this verse is telling us to trust him, I think about social media. I don't know how many of you have ever gotten on social media and you were just upset about something, there was an injustice in your life, somebody said something about you that wasn't true, somebody did something to you in a grocery store or driving down the highway, somebody was driving 10 miles an hour under the speed limit in the left lane and you just need to let the world know about this. I know I've been in that place where I felt those things and, and I hopefully you can relate to this part. There's been a lot of times when I've typed out something and I was just like, oh man, this is like the best response, best reply ever. Can't wait to show everyone how smart I am. Can't wait for everyone to understand the injustice that I'm enduring, whatever it might be. And then I don't send it <laughs> and, and I just erase it because I have to remember God's the one that does all those things. Uh, it's, it's talking about his hand, this hand of justice. So often I want to get my justice. I want to pursue that. But the word says that God is our justice. He's the one that brings justice. When we try to pursue our own justice, we really just remove his ability to come and bring his justice. How many of y'all know that God's justice is always going to be better than our form of justice? But it also says of power. So look, when, when I'm just trying to grasp hold of my own identity or grasp hold of my own strength or, or try to grab a hold of, of some amount of authority or power by, by trying to control a situation, look, I'm never going to be more powerful than God. I'm never going to be able to have the strength that he has. So that, that hand of power, of victory, of victory, a lot of times I think if I can just say it this way or do this, then I win. But God's sense of victory is way bigger than ours. And he has a much bigger perspective of what it actually takes to really win. Because his version of winning and victory is always going to be from an eternal perspective. I don't know about you, but if I'm going to win, I'd rather have a victory that lasts for eternity than just in a moment of a momentary satisfaction of feeling like I won. His hand of victory and of salvation. Uh, he saves us. We can trust him. Salvation is not just a one-time experience. Uh, this is something that he wants us to depend on him for every day. There's so many times that I am looking for God's hand 
to be moving in a situation, to be doing something for me that I forget that he's holding me in that hand. Uh, but the great thing about it is it's, it's his right hand. That's his strong hand. That's the hand that represents his righteousness, but also represents our identity in him, that the ones that belong to him and in his name are at his right. And we can trust him to hold us in that hand. And don't forget, he still has another hand and he can still work on our behalf. But we need to trust that he's holding us. He's got everything that we need. I just wanna encourage you with that today. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for this scripture. I pray that we would all grow increasingly into a place where we trust you, that we don't have to be afraid, that we can remember, God, you're with me. You're with me. And that you have everything that I need, that in your hand, God, I have victory. I have justice. I have power. And I have salvation through you. I thank you for that. We give you glory for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, you guys be blessed. We'll see you next time.